This short piece introduces the subject of experiments done with farmers. We have chosen the title carefully, as other terms that might be used, on-farm trials, participatory research and so on, may have some unhelpful associations for some people. In much agricultural research, scientists design and carry out experiments, which may be done in research stations or in farmers' fields. Why involve farmers in this process? There are a number of reasons, and we cover five in this video. The first is a basic ethical point. Farmers should be empowered to influence and contribute to research done in their name. The other points in this video are all related to the design of the experiments. The next point is about bringing farmers' ideas into the plan. Well, farmers will have their own ideas on aspects of the technologies and processes and how they can be managed. They will have a much better awareness of the conditions under which they work than most scientists, so it makes sense to include their ideas in the planning of experiments. And this leads to the next point. We want to assess under realistic farmer conditions, because farmers face many constraints and options need evaluating under these conditions. The next point is that if we work directly with farmers, we can make social as well as biophysical assessments. Farmers' preferences, for example for new varieties, may depend on a complex mixture of traits and they can only state them when they have experience of growing the varieties themselves. Finally, working directly with farmers means that you can sample much more of the environmental variation that will influence results than would be possible if you worked on your own. The research cycle for any experiment is similar. It goes from defining the research questions and objectives of the trial, through deciding an overall approach, fixing the details, implementing, collecting and interpreting the data, and then deciding what to do next. Farmers can be involved in every one of these stages. In this and subsequent videos, I'm focusing on what working with farmers means for experimental design, that is, primarily these two steps. I would like to make clear the distinction between adopting a participatory approach at the project level and participation in the studies that are part of the project. Many projects aim for participation of farmers and others, but this doesn't mean that every study in that project has to use the same level or style of farmer participation. An example comes from a project that was aiming to help farmers adopt timber tree growing as a farm enterprise. The project identified three research questions and set up studies to investigate them, along with other activities. For the problem of low germination of an important species, farmers and researchers agreed that the researchers should determine what was going on and come back with an answer. For the second problem of which cover crop to grow between young trees, farmers agreed that they could do that without any input from the scientists. They knew a number of options and could simply try them out on their own farms. For the third problem, it was agreed that a joint farmer-researcher activity was needed. Everyone then worked together to come up with a sound design for the experiment. My emphasis here on the technical experimental designs used in work with farmers does not mean that other aspects of farmer-research interaction are unimportant. A series of very valuable papers by David Cash and colleagues describes what it takes for effective linking of knowledge to action, which must be what we are trying to do here. They identified the three dimensions of salience or relevance of the work, credibility and legitimacy. My focus here is on credibility, what it takes to produce results that are valid and useful. Finally, for this introduction video, a word on publication of results from experiments done with farmers. A common comment is that such data cannot be published, and hence other research styles are needed. But publication has nothing to do with whether the work was done with farmers. Publication of research in scientific literature requires you to have something novel to say, some new insights, discoveries or solutions 
and that you have valid and convincing data to back up your story. These two requirements are independent of whether you worked with farmers. The principle of participation does nothing to stop you having publishable results. However, participation does not guarantee that you will have publishable results either. Among other things, you need good experimental designs. And that's the subject of the next video.